To Alamance County tonight where some neighbors in Mebane are protesting the possibility of a Bucky's coming to that area. In fact, tomorrow at noon they expect to deliver a no Bucky's in Mebane petition to the Mebane City Hall. Yeah, meanwhile, some believe this mega gas station would give the city an economic boost. Fox 8's Justin Lundy is live in Mebane tonight after speaking with people for and against this proposal. Justin, what are some of the reasons they don't want Bucky's to come here? A spokesperson for Seven Directions of Service tells me that the proposed gas station that would be located off of I-40 and Trollingwood Hawfield Road was once sacred trading path for Native Americans. And also the Environmental Justice Group's Associate Director, Casey Kinsella, tells me that the proposed project would negatively impact Mebane's environment. Today, I also got the chance to speak with Wendy Day, the owner of Clay Street Tavern in downtown Mebane, who tells me if the city council does approve the Bucky's for Bucky's to be built, it would bring more tourists into the city. I started um, hearing from other community members about their concerns related to water and environmental impacts, impacts to our infrastructure as a town, sewage, roads, and traffic. I think it's great. Um, it'd be a lot of a lot of people come to Mabin, um, whether they're stopping there or not, but at some point they'll end up coming downtown because they'll like the, the town and bring a lot of tax dollars to our area. Kinsella tells me that seven directions of service will deliver the petition to city council tomorrow at noon. The city council will also vote on bringing Bucky's to Mebane next Monday. I'll have the full story coming up at 11. But for now, reporting live in Mebane, Justin Lundy, Fox 8 News. All right, Justin, thank you.